Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I am making an addenda to uh, the Villages and Villagers tutorial part 1. This will be part 1B. Um, it was brought to my attention that I hadn't adequately explained what were covered and uncovered blocks when it came to valid doors. So I'm going to try to get that straight. Make sure it's straight in my mind too. Sometimes I get confused, but I know what works. Okay, so if we go in this door here, um, the game pass, let's just say we're only considering this door and there's say a little house around this door. If we go in, the game is going to make a pass and it's going to look from the door block, uh, from the l bottom layer of the door backwards, and in this case it's going to find a transparent block here, and then this would be the second block that's transparent, the third block that's transparent, but right away it finds at the fourth block a solid block. Um, and it says, okay, that's a valid door because out here there are more than one, two, three, four blocks that have nothing out here. So these are obviously transparent blocks um, they, going by the bottom layer of the door and it didn't have to check anything else because everything out here is wide open. So this door becomes a valid door because after only counting to, f to four or at the count of four, it found a solid block. It will not go up and check this block or any other blocks because it found validity between the outside here and the inside making this um, the count in here um, less covered blocks or less uh, less say fewer transparent blocks let's put it that way than there are outside okay and that one that's the block right there that makes that happen and you can go ahead and put your window up there in that case um, then the next thing that comes up is a door like this and I'm going to turn the weather clear and go back to day, the first uh, daylight here uh, because it's just easier to see and I don't have to listen to that dinging in my ears <laughs> for a while so now we're only going to consider this door so we go in and, and we uh, sit on this door block here and we see that we have one, two, three transparent blocks here there is also a transparent block here so right here unless it went way 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 out there the game would have a hard time deciding um, and I don't know how many it actually checks out in front um, but this is probably a pretty equal distance out here between what's over there and what's over here but it would it would be in a quandary because there are all these open spaces out here and in here because it doesn't see any spaces at the lo bottom layer of the door that are uh, closed off or covered with a uh, a solid block it doesn't know on the first pass whether this is a valid door or not okay so the next thing that it does is it co goes through it makes the second pass and checks the top of the doors in this case it would be checking the bottom it would find a transparent block here and it would check the top and it would find a transparent block here and that's as far as it would need to go to say this is not a valid door although there is a solid block there the passes that it's going to make um, at this point it does the bottom layer first it does the top and it already says there are nothing but transparent blocks out there behind that door so it's my understanding then that that is not going to work as a door that will count in your village to give you the 3.5 doors that you need to support a villager so you come over here and you have um, a solid block here and the door is already counted because there are far more open blocks out here than there are inside here so we have the solid block here and now this one has even though it has an open block up here and it doesn't have a roof block in it it doesn't matter the door has the uh, door count has already been made on the first pass so even though you can see through to the sky up here and the sun will hit there it will only hit the top of that block uh, it will not hit the block that's below which is where the door is sitting you see uh, so when it passes through this bottom layer uh, check it finds that this is a valid door even though the roof is transparent there okay next scenario go into this door and we see transparent 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 that is obviously not going to be counted as a valid door just like with this one, only this one had the solid roof here, 
that doesn't even get noticed by the game. This one is uh, transparent all the way up, um, and nothing shields that block there at all. So obviously it's hard for the game to tell, and um, it's actually not hard for the game to tell in this case. This one, it would be you know, making a choice. This is nothing but transparent out here as far as this door is concerned. Not a valid door. So actually we could X off that door and we could X off that door. Okay, now this this one here goes to see a transparent block here, but when the door when the game makes the second pass it finds a solid block at the top layer of the door back here which leaves less transparent blocks in here than it does on the outside. So that means that this is the inside of the door, that is the outside of the door, and that's what's important. It has an inside and an outside. What happens on some of these doors is uh, sometimes you get a door that is placed wrong and you think that you're uh, going into a house, but there are an actually more open spaces on the inside of the door, what we would think of as the inside of the door because there's the walls around it. Um, then there, you know, like if you had a block out here, uh, let's say in front of this door here, um, if you had a block at the lower layer of the uh, door here and you went in, even though before this one was counted as a valid door, one, two, three, and the fourth block is solid, out here it only has one, two, and the third block is solid. So that means, yes, this is a valid door, but this is the outside now whereas that's the inside. Even you don't have to have anything out here other than that. And it count, And so what happens when your villagers come and they try to go in the door, they will huddle out here on the outside of this door thinking that they're safe because this is the one that the game tells them is inside. Take away that block and they'll go through the, excuse me, they'll go through the door and they will go and huddle inside of the building, the building instead. So you have to get away from your thought about, you know, surroundings. You need to make sure that outside of your door has more open blocks than than it, there are on the inside. It's not just blocks on one side or the other. You got to remember which side you want your villagers to know is the inside. This door has no question at all. There is never going to be a question on this door that it is a valid door because there are just tons of blocks out here and you go one, two, three, four, and you've got solid blocks everywhere. Now, on this particular door, I, I really, you know, I said that it isn't going to be counted valid. As far as I know, the game is only, is only looking for uh, known things. Now, if there were, for instance, let's say we had one, two, three, four out here. I'm just going to do this so that I can put this here. Oh, okay. <sighs> Wrong keys. Go. Oh, I'm running into that. I'm up in the air. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, so let's say you had this out here, and then you look in here, and there is a third block here. Now this this block out here. Let's say let's not, let's say just to make sure. Let's just say that the block is only two layers up. When the when the uh, game makes the pass to let's put the door in here to look at the first layer of the door. It says out here, okay, there's lots of space out here, but there's a transparent space here too, so it can't count the first layer. So it comes back and it does a pass on the second layer. And it says, okay, there's a solid block out here, one, two, three, the fourth block away from the top of that door is a solid block. It is covering the ground. Out here, there's a transparent block. So in that case, this door would be counted a valid door, because you have space out there. It, it's not going to count that one that's up there. It's counting straight out from the top layer of that door. And it sees this then as the inside of the door. So there again, you'd have villagers huddling out here and not in here where they should be. If you then put, put your uh, uh, block up, up here and you take this off, I, I I think because of the door checks, this, the bottom and the top layer, I don't think that's going to make any difference. That's at the same. That block there is at the same level as that block there. There's no difference, but it has already read the bottom first, which it thought was transparent, was not valid. But then, um, yeah, and it read the top one, and it's not valid because out here is just space. So, 
that one up above there, even though, you know, it, it's covering the ground. I mean, it's making, could make a shadow down there through the transparent blocks. As far as I know, these two blocks right here are going to keep that from being a valid door because it, it checks that layer and then it checks that layer. So that's why I crossed off that door. So you are sure to have, out of those combinations in there, a valid door here because of the solid block there on the first pass of the game. You have a valid door here again because the first pass of the game, even though there is no roof up here as far as transparency is concerned, that block right there counts that as a valid door. This one has nothing behind it in any way because those glass blocks are totally transparent and the door here sees transparent all the way out that way and all the way out that way. So you can't, you know, if you put a door there, it doesn't work. Here, first pass finds transparent out there exactly the same as it does here or, you know, close to it. Um, as long as they're in the same chunk, you know, that's the way it's going to read it. And then it sees uh, on the second pass where it reads the top of the door, it sees a solid block in here which only leaves three transparent blocks in here and a whole bunch more out here. This one in here immediately goes, first first pass goes to there and like I said, even though you, if you had a glass one up there like that one, it would still be read as a valid door. So if you have doors that have your windows starting right at the same level as the bottom of your door, those doors are not going to be counted. And that was the point that uh, somebody brought up to me that I hadn't made in this uh, tutorial is that you need to carefully check your transparent blocks um, and if you are counting on transparent blocks make sure that they're not leaves or water and I can't remember what the other one is lava excuse me so yeah those they are considered tra uh, semi-transparent but for the um, purposes of making a valid door they are considered as a solid block Okay, so that was what I wanted to say, and I hope that that clears up any uh, anything that I didn't make clear in the uh, part one of the tutorial, and thanks for watching.